Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am very excited to read to you our story of the day, which is Puff the Magic Dragon. And I actually took the jacket off of this book, um, so I can't show you the real cover of the book, but there's what's underneath the jacket. I think the jacket got ripped. And if you have a book at home that has a cover on the outside of it that you can take off, that is the jacket of the book. You might know that already. The title of this story is Puff the Magic Dragon. And you can see in red writing, there it says, Puff the Magic Dragon. That's the title of the story, the name of the story. And this story has two authors, Peter Yarrow and Lenny Lipton. Those are the people that wrote the words. And in this book, the illustrations are actually painted. So the illustrator is a painter and his name is Eric Pubaret. I think I said that right. So some of you might have heard this before in a song, and I might try to sing a little bit of it for you today. And you can sing along if you know the song. Puff the Magic Dragon. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow whenever they come. Pirate ships would lower their flag when Puff roared out his name. Ooh, even the top pirates. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. A dragon lives forever, but not so girls and boys. Painted wings and giant's rings make way for other toys. One gray night it happened, jaggy paper came no more. And Puff, that mighty dragon, he ceased his fearless roar. So the little boy, Jackie Paper, is starting to get older. And he's not coming around to play with Puff. How do you think that might be making Puff feel? 
His head was bent in sorrow, green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along the cherry lane. Without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave. So Puff, that mighty dragon, sadly slipped into his cave. Oh, and there he is. Kind of dark in there. I think the illustrator is trying to tell us how Puff is feeling. What do you think? Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. It looks like Puff has a new visitor. How do you think he feels on this page? The painting is brighter. Look at his eyes and his face. How do you think he's starting to feel now that he's having a new visitor? Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. And that's the end of the story. I think Puff got a little sad when Jackie grew up, but when he had a new visitor, I think his heart grew big again and he was ready to play imagination games. So I hope you liked the story, Puff the Magic Dragon. And I hope you listened and sang along with me. Maybe you can even play it again and sing the words this time. I hope you have a fabulous day today and I will be seeing you soon. Bye friends.